Hello guys, Let's UI here. This is part of a crash course in Figma's auto layout. In this lesson, we are going to design a credit card form using auto layout. We will be learning things like how to create side-by-side -side input fields, how to add an icon to an input field, how to create a variant, and finally, how to make a responsive. Are you ready? Let's get started. Here are the various text layers and icons we'll be using for our design. Before we begin, select all the icons and create a component set. This will help us switch between icons easily. Let's create an input field using auto layout. Select and duplicate the text layer. Rename it and set the font size to 14. Apply auto layout to it using Shift A and a fill color of white. Set horizontal padding to 12 and vertical padding to 8. Copy and paste an instance of the icon. Place it inside the input field and center align it. We want the icon to float to the far right of the text input. In order to do that, select the name text layer and set its horizontal resizing to fill container. Apply a corner radius of 4 to the frame. Change it into a component using the keyboard shortcut Ctrl Shift K and rename it. Make a copy of the component. Put it beneath the full name text layer. Select all of it. Press Shift A to apply auto layout and change its name. Duplicate the frame and rename the label card number. Now when we add the characters inside the fields, it will be difficult to resize them. So let's use another approach. Select the input field component, create another instance, and detach it from the main component. Detaching means whatever happens in the main component won't affect this frame. Now select the text layer inside the field and add some characters. Instead of setting the horizontal resizing to fill container, set it to hack content. Now duplicate it three times. Select all the characters and apply auto layout. Set the spacing between items to 8. Now we want the icon to float to the right. To do that, set the character's horizontal resizing to fill container. Rename the frame and change it to a component using Ctrl Alt key. Now select both components and click on Combine as variants. Now select the input field in a card number frame. And at the Properties panel, change the property of the input field. Duplicate the full name frame and rename the label. Then duplicate the frame again to create the CVC field. We want to set both fields side by side. Select both fields and apply the auto layout option. Let's make the frame responsive. Select the expiry date frame and set horizontal resizing to fill container. Do the same for the CVC frame. Select the label input field frame and set horizontal resizing to fill container. Do the same for the CVC input frame as well. Let's create a button with auto layout. Type out a text and use Shift A to apply auto layout. Set the horizontal padding to 40 and the vertical padding to 40.
apply a fill color and give it a corner radius of 4. Make a copy of the icon and drag it inside the button. Align it to the left and set spacing between items to 10. Now let's select all the layers. Apply auto layout and rename the frame. Keep the fill color of white and style the input fills and strokes as follows. Select the payment info text layer. Select the paragraph below it and apply auto layout. Also set spacing between items to 10. Select the parent frame and set the horizontal padding to 20 and the vertical padding to 24. Also select the button and the text layer below it and apply auto layout. Set the spacing between items to 6. Now it's time to make the form responsive. Select the bottom frame and set horizontal resizing to fill container. Then select the button itself and set horizontal resizing to fill container. Select the text beneath the button and change the horizontal resize into fill container and the text alignment to center. Repeat the same process for the rest of the frames. Finally, we used Auto Layout to create a credit card form. This is the final series in our Auto Layout course. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date on all our future contents. See you in the next one. Bye.